In this example two, we're gonna find the absolute extrema or absolute max absolute min values for the function f of x equals x to the two thirds plus one on the interval negative eight comma eight. The steps to find the absolute max absolute minimum. So the first one, we're gonna find the critical values by finding the derivative, uh, let it be zero or let it be undefined. And then step two, we're gonna find the function value at two endpoints. Our two endpoints, A equals negative eight and B equals positive eight. We find our function values at A, B, and critical numbers that we found on step one. And the last step, we're gonna compare which number is the largest, which number is smallest to be the absolute maximum and absolute minimum values respectively. Let's start with finding the critical values. We might have more than one. So from finding the f prime, the function we have is x to the power two thirds plus one. We're gonna use the power rule to find the derivative. The derivative of x to the two thirds is two over three, x to the two thirds minus one, and then plus zero from the derivative of one, simplify to be two over three times x to the power negative one over three. You have negative power. We can rewrite as the reciprocal of the positive power, or we can write it as two divided by three times the q root of x as the derivative of the function. Now we're gonna find the critical value from two cases. The first case, the case of the f prime equals zero. The second case, the f prime is undefined. For the f prime equals zero, the shortcut to find it is to let the numerator to be zero. And the shortcut to find the f prime undefined is where the denominator equals zero. Starting with the numerator equals zero. For our case, the numerator is two and the denominator is three times the cube root of the x. So we set it up two equals zero, which is not possible. Therefore, no critical value that we could obtain from letting f prime be zero. And in the second case, we consider the denominator to be zero or three times the cube root of x equals zero. And then solve for x, we get x equals zero. So then this case, we have the critical number x equals zero. Or I will see for this case. The next step, we're gonna find the function value, uh, function value at point A, at point B, and the critical point that we found, the point A is negative eight, Point B is positive eight, and the C that we found from step one is zero. To plug the value in, we use the original function, which is the function f of x equals x to the two thirds plus one. So quantity negative eight to the power two thirds plus one, which comes out to be negative two to the second, which is four, four plus one is five. And the value eight, we compute the same way to get the value five as well. And at zero, zero to the power two thirds plus one returns to be the value one. Now we have the order pairs for this point, the point A or negative eight, the function value is five. At B, the value eight, the function value is five. And the critical value where the function is an the derivative is undefined, the order pair is zero, one. The last step, we're gonna compare which number is the largest and which number is the smallest. So the largest value is five, which is the function at negative eight and also the function at positive eight. So that means at two ends, the function value are the same and both of them are called the absolute maximum value, where the smallest value is the value one or the value of the function at zero or at the point that we call the critical point. And from the diagram, as you see, 
the graph <clears throat> has the absolute maximum occurs at two endpoints. And then the lowest point occurs when the slope of the tangent line is undefined or the infinity. So this is the answer. We have the smallest value or the, this one is called the absolute minimum value. And the five is called the absolute maximum value. <clears throat> 